that's the sound you might hear if you listen closely at the Kiwi House at Ōtorohanga, where you can learn about New Zealand's national bird. The Ōtorohanga Kiwi House is the country's first nocturnal Kiwi House. Day and night are reversed to make the Kiwi active for daytime visitors. At the native bird park, visitors can see a wide range of other birds including kea, kaka, weka, falcon, moorpork, fior and pukeko. Tuatara, native lizards dating back to the dinosaur age, are also on display here. There are thought to be five different species of kiwi, and you can see three of them at the kiwi house, the northern brown kiwi, the great spotted kiwi, and the little spotted kiwi. The kiwi is a flightless bird, though it has tiny wings and may have flown thousands of years ago. Its nostrils are situated at the tip of its beak, which allows it to probe into soil and sniff out small insects. A kiwi has cat-like whiskers at the base of its beak, which helps it navigate at night. Its strong, heavy legs allow it to run as fast as humans and fight ferociously. Though it is a bird, the kiwi has many mammal-like features, such as notable ear openings, allowing good hearing, feathers that are more like shaggy mammal hair, tough skin, heavy bones, and two functioning ovaries in females. Birds normally have only one. A kiwi has an unusually large egg, about a fifth of its weight, and it takes up to 90 days to hatch. The brown kiwi can lay up to six eggs in a nine-month season, but the other species normally lay only one. The kiwi is now an endangered bird and highly protected, but in earlier times it was more common. Māori used to eat kiwi, steaming them in a hangi or earth oven. A European explorer found that kiwi tasted like a piece of pork boiled in an old coffin. Though few New Zealanders have seen a kiwi in the wild, the bird has become a national emblem. In the second half of the 19th century, it was used as a trademark and symbol for a variety of New Zealand products and institutions. In the 20th century, newspaper cartoonists represented the nation with a kiwi. During the First World War, New Zealand soldiers started being called kiwis. In the 1930s, when the Department of Health promoted eating fruit, a poster was addressed to a healthy kiwi, and during the Second World War, some American marines in New Zealand talked about the K1W1s. Between the 1940s and the 1980s, the kiwi was confirmed as the symbol of the nation. Kiwi blokes and sheilas ate kiwi bacon, gambled on the golden kiwi lottery, followed the kiwi rugby league team, and watched television until the animated Good Night Kiwi told them to go to bed. And during the 1960s, Prime Minister Keith Holyoke was known as Kiwi Keith. Ōtorohanga has extended its association with the kiwi by showcasing kiwiana, iconic New Zealand objects. The Ed Hillary Walkway, which runs from the main street to a nearby car park, brings kiwiana to life. This includes our national dessert of pavlova, the All Blacks, Marmite, a popular New Zealand sandwich spread, the America's Cup and Sheepdogs. You'll also be able to learn a few words of Kiwi slang. So whether you're a bloke or a sheila, rattle your dags, throw the sprog in the back of the ute and get cracking, which means in English, don't forget to check out the Kiwi house and some Kiwiana when you're in Ōtorohonga.